knows what you know what his role is going to detail, and, and we're going to lean on him heavy to be very explosive. And I think he's doing a good job as far as being a student of the game. Dylan's very talented, and, but he, he came in this year with the mindset and really understanding his, his assignments and what he needed to get done. What were those conversations like with Dylan over the offseason as you guys are just talking about him as going to a sophomore year, just looking, for, asking more out of him and looking for him to be more than kind of being every down back for you guys? Well, some, some of those things we talked about, you know, didn't want to come back with a sophomore jinx. You know, he had a, a decent year. I think we could have gotten more out of him. I think he was prepared for it. So we got to do better as coaches for put him in a better position to have success. Uh, but he had a great all season. I think he, he took it upon himself to gain more weight. You know, he's bigger than he was last year. He's He's stronger than he was last year. He's already naturally strong. You know, he was participating in track. So he did all the necessary things to better himself, you know, with Coach Prime in his ear as far as running track, eating correctly, but then just coming back with a, a mature mindset as far as being a better overall football player. But, uh, you know, with Pat Sherman, the offensive coordinator, you know, I think we have a better plan for him as far as a different scheme, making sure that he's in when we need him in to, to get certain things done. Is what 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 is the conversation been like with Coach Shermer about the the usage of the running backs that you guys plan to have this season as compared to last season? Uh, it's been good conversations. I think it'll be better than last year. I think we, you know, last year was dictated based on the tempo of the offense and what the uh, defense was presented to us. And um, I think the old line was decent last year. It wasn't where we needed to be. So when you invest into it, when you bring Pat Sherman as the OC, when you bring in Coach Fields, old line coach, and then you bring in a whole new O-line that's that we feel has a different mindset than you investing in, into the run. So we got to do our job and make sure we're ready for when the run is called. You know, we go over our alignment, our assignments. We want to press the hole and make the right reads. We just want to be there when the opportunity presents itself. What does committing to the running game mean to you? It means a lot, you know, you know, not just for me, just for the team. You know, if we're able to run the football, that means the box, you know, get a little heavier and that mean we have one safety, so the passing game is where it needs to be, so we can improve on the passing game. It, it clears things up for Shador. You stop the run, now you got to put more bodies in, in the box to stop the run. And then to stop the pass, I mean, now you got to have a two safety shell to stop the pass. So we want to make sure that we dictate to the offense what we want to bring that week. If it's the run game that's going to work, you know, we'll dial it up. If the passing game is there, but we know when you're able to run the football, when you're home or away, you have a pretty good chance to win games. How many carries does it take to get in the rhythm as a running back? Um, it varies. You know, we we don't want a back to have 25, 30 carries. Those days are over. You know, we want to make sure we keep them fresh. So if they get 15, 20 reps max, and then that next guy come in at 10 or 12 reps, that's where we want to be as far as that balance to make sure we don't overload one back. And then it's based on the play calling of Pat Sherman. And then I got a boss that to answer to, also Deion Sanders, who wants to see a guy on particular plays. So when you, when you have those variables, it's hard to say as far as getting them in rhythm, but we want to make sure that my job is to make sure they understand their assignments. So once they get in, they know what they need to do and carry out their assignments. You know, once they end the fatigue as far as the stamina, we like backs ready to go at least four, at least two series, four to eight plays. So that's what we look for. So if you're carrying a load, if you're not fatigued, if you're not blowing assignments, you know, your reps would increase. But if you're a guy that's blowing assignments and can't, uh, physically get it done, then we'll bring the next guy in. So it varies, you know, it, it depends on that particular guy. What about the RPO in the scheme? You just talked about the tempo you guys mm -hmm. tried to play at last year. Did yeah. that factor into some of the struggles you had in the it running does. game? Because a lot of decisions made by the quarterback and based on what a defender do. If you feel like the defender can make a tackle within four yards, he'll pull it, he'll keep it, he'll throw it or he'll run it. So it, it's, it's based on decisions. I don't think we had a whole lot of true runs. We just say, okay, we're gonna run the ball in a particular situation. This year is different. We're gonna dial it up. We believe we're believing up front. If the third is short situation, we have a situation where we're actually going to run the ball and not have too many RPOs. What are some of the things that you're drilling your group on that maybe you guys were lacking last year that'll help them be a little bit more productive? Uh, we, we just stick with the basics, you know, the, the, the fundamentals, all the, the assistance, this footwork, you know, we want to believe in what we believe in, train our eyes, have good eyes, you know, sell little to sell a lot. You know, alignment, assignment, execution. We want to stick with that. And then these guys are natural football players. They can play the game. So if we can control all the decision-making skills, all the things that come in between the plays as far as uh, not the mental arrows when they, when they, when the play is called, you know, we will be fine. So we talk about those things all the time. You know, we stick to the core values, smart, fast, tough, discipline. And then we just build off that as far as the footwork, <laughs> being in a position where there's adversity, 
and being able to get out of that position or that bad adversity with your feet and making good plays. Always, always downhill. Coach, what, 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 what have you seen from Alton McCaskill, and is he close to being that back that you guys saw at Houston? He's close. You know, he, he, he from last year, he's very close. I think he did a good job as far as doing all the necessary things as far as being able to uh, decelerate and then accelerate. Um, that's where he kind of had the issues, you know, as far as trusting him, you know, going from point A to point B. And we want to make sure we get him to the point where he gets downhill, and I think he's working on that. He's very smart. He's very eager. Um, his, his speed has increased. His strength has increased. Uh, but I think he'll be ready for game run one. And once we go through all season, once we go through camp, you know, we're going to get him to where he needs to be to make sure that he's able to do all the necessary things. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. How do you feel like your first uh, spring ball is going? And how, how nice has it been to get on campus early and, and getting get acclimated to the system as, as early as you can? Uh, it's been great. It's been a great feeling to come in early uh, to get a good start, go and get a feel for everything, get the playbook down, and just ready to ball out this year. What was it like watching this team last year? Uh, it was great watching this team. I, w I came in and wanted to help change the program and wanted to give them something, like give them a uh, – some a running back that can do all things out the backfield. So, had Colorado ever been on your radar before this? Uh, last year? Uh, no, sir. When Coach Prime came in, that's when they came on the radar. Yes, sir. And what was it about Coach Prime that made you feel like this uh, is the place for you? He came in, wanted to change something, do something special. So, and I wanted to be a part of that. Yes, sir. I know it's still pretty new to you, but what's the biggest adjustment been to kind of playing against college guys for the first time? Uh, the biggest thing has been being patient. So I had to come in and just and be patient. I used to just going to get the ball and just going to run, but now I have to be patient, let the block set up, and going to get through there, run the ball. When I see in Dylan coming in last season and have an impact right away as a true freshman as early as week one, how much how much confidence does that give you that you can kind of have a similar impact right away? You do the right things. And uh, it made me feel great that I can come in and do the same thing Dylan did and work together as a team. All the running backs, we have great running backs, and I know I can come in and, and – a tribute to the team, so. Yeah. Yes, like a, you and the Shiloh have already kind of gone back and forth a bit at practice. What's just that been like going back and forth to them? Nah, it's been great. He getting me better, I'm getting him better, so that's been a, you know. Mike, you, you've, we've seen some powerful runs out of you in, in practice so far. Has that always been a part of your style, or is that something you're maybe ramping up a little more being at this level? Uh, that's always been a part of my style, but as the practice going on, I'm trying to show I can do all things, get shifty. Running you over, catch out the bat for you, I can do all of them. So. Do you feel like that's more important at this level than it was even in high school? Being oh, that yeah, you have, to be, you have to be physical at this level. Um, what's been your relationship like with uh, Dylan Edwards? Uh, the relationship with Dylan Edwards has been great. Like That's my bro. Uh, he helped me with a lot. He's a great teammate. And we're going to take over the bat for this year. What's the main sure. message that you're hearing from Coach Flea while you're working on your development as a freshman? Uh, the main message from Coach Flea is that's – being patient and look, make sure I get in the playbook, make sure I can do everything and know everything and play fast. Is it a hard decision to kind of forego your second semester and show up early? Nah, nah it's, it's very, I'm, I'm taking everything in very well, so everything is pretty smooth. But do you feel pressured to do that? Like if you don't, you're going to be behind the eight ball? Uh, yeah, yes sir. What's been your impressions of Pat Shermer's offense so far? Uh, I know that it's a balanced offense, and when I came in, we go run the ball, so yes, sir. Anything else for Micah? All right, thank you, sir. Thanks, Micah. Thanks, Micah.
Que isso? Tem galera dando. What's been year two like under uh, NCU? What's been year two yeah. like? It's been great. Um, just working on my game every day, trying to get better um, through this spring. Um, and I feel like my game is elevating every day. You know, when you made the decision to join the track team, was that because you missed track or was that for football reasons? That was for football reasons. I feel like I just wanted to get as fast as possible before coming back. And um, I had a lot to work on. My form was messed up and I, I was very, very forward while I was running. So they got they got me right for sure. Are you, are you still going to be doing track during the spring? Like yes, spring I'm off? saying maybe the end of May. Yeah, well, I'll come back to the team and have fun. What's it been like running behind this kind of new offensive line with a lot of little bodies up front, and how much additional confidence does he give you, you know, having an improved off the line? And those guys up front, they're more hungry, I feel like, this year, just to show people that um, they're not to be messed with. Um, they want it more than anybody, I feel like, on our whole team. Um, so just having them come out, be motivated, it motivates me to, you know, get that ball in the end zone for them. Dylan, what have you seen from this offense so far, just trying to get you more involved and more consistent? Man. This year's gonna be fun. I feel like um, everybody has a chance to do what they need to do, and uh, our scheme is really nice. So um, everybody, you know, get the ball, and it, it goes around real nice. Coach sure. Lee said that was a little frustrating last year schematically, doing mm -hmm. a lot of RPO stuff. You guys struggled with some of that. What was that like in the running back room? Uh, it, it was a little struggle, but uh, we all, you know, was a family in that in that uh, meeting room. So. Uh, we all leaned on each other and, and tried to get through the season, um, trying to get as much reps and, and, and do our best as possible as we could. So that's all we were asked for from Coach Fleet. How many carries does it take to get in the rhythm? 10, 10 to 12. Um, I just, especially this year, our line, they, they open up some big holes. So um, there's a lot of plays to where I'm getting the ball and, and I'll break 20, 30 yards downfield ready for another one you know so just getting me hot early um that's something i really want this year and i feel like um my, my game is you know elevated so i'm definitely ready for anything that's coming my way this year i'm um, with the o-line too just what have you noticed like has been the biggest difference compared to last year the biggest difference they're more of a family in that room um they hang out a lot more than last year um i, I can't say fully because um, like the difference wise because you know the, the guys last year were my guys as well um, I'm not going to say anything bad about them at all, and I wish them the very best wherever they, you know, end up playing. But, you know, this year, um, those guys are, are way closer in that room, I feel like, and um, they're working together to achieve one goal, and that's to win games. How do you so go about it in an offseason improving and trying to be more of an every down back? Like, what goes into that in an offseason? What goes into it? You got lifts, uh, you run with the team. That's pretty much it. That's all you can do. Um, I try to get more in the playbook more. Um, try to be a leader in the running back room as well. Um, that's something big I, I pride myself on this year. Just you know, being a guy that's coming back from the team last year. I want more. And I want more for myself, not just for the group, but for the whole team. So you'll see me out there getting kind of feisty and mad at some people when they don't do their assignments and stuff like that just because I want to win. That's my major main, main thing is I want to win. You obviously had the huge first game last year against TCU, and then after that, a little bit of a struggle. Uh, what was that adjustment like for you to realize, okay, it's not always going to be like TCU? Yeah. And you know, what kinds of things did you have to learn and, and implement in your game? Yeah, I knew every game was not going to be like TCU. Yeah. You're going to have those games to where you, you do score, you know, two, three times, but um, it's all about what can you do to contribute to a win, and that's what I felt like I didn't do, you know. Um, towards the end of the season. So I want to contribute every single game to get the W. You feel like teams were keying in on you more after that performance at TCU mm -hmm. last year, though? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I expected it. Um, you know, first first game, you can score four touchdowns. I'm going to be looking at, you know, that, that player the whole game to see what he's going to do. So um, I know their teams' objective was to shut, shut me down. But if you shut me down, we got six, seven guys that can score it, too. So... Um, our offense is very dynamic, and you guys will see this year. I think a big objective this year is, you know, committal to the run. When you talk to Pat Shermer, or at least see his playbook, how do you feel like he's keying into committing to the run this year? Yeah, so depending on what running back is in the game, you're going to call the game different, depending on your personnel and everything. So um, certain runs I won't do anymore. I won't run up the center's butt anymore. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'm going to run in between the tackles. That's not a problem, but... I'm going to do what best fits my game when I'm in the game. So whatever Coach Sherm calls up, I'm going to try to you know, perfect it as much as possible.
How important is pass pro to the running back position and to this, this team in particular? Yeah, pass pro is very important. I think during our indie, we spent about 75, 80% of, of it on just blocking. You know, coach is real particular in how our form is supposed to be while, you know, engaging a block. So we try to work on that as much as possible. Who do you think is the best at it right now? Um, I'm not sure. What was it like last year watching Shador take that punishment that he did take last year? Um, it, I felt bad for him, but at the same time, he's tough, and he got through it most of the season. So um, I'm proud of him, and he's looking better than ever this year. He's, he's looking real good. Along you know, with got that. a running back room that is very different. Like I think every runner in there is, is different. Is that fun when you got different styles and guys that can do different things? Oh, of course. It makes the offense even more scary, knowing that we have a great receiver room, and then you turn to our running backs and we tote it. So it's great to be you know, in that, in that room for sure. Along with that pass pro element, you were utilized a lot as a receiving option out of the backfield. Is that something that you continue to want to do going forward? It's crazy because this year I'm playing way more receiver. Um, I'm more dynamic than in our offense. It's not just a running back. So I am in the running back room, but I, I view myself as not a running back or a receiver. I'm just an all-around threat towards the defense. I feel like I can split out. I can I can motion. I can do all. I can do it all. So. Just having Coach Sherm, you know, call plays and, and give me the opportunity is something that I need and that I, I'm waiting for. Thank Appreciate y'all. We gone.